live from the New York, New Jersey area and broadcasting around the globe. Are you ready? Welcome to AMB Talk Radio, the place where your questions are answered about popular culture, relationships, books and romance, and more if you're ready. Come on, come on. Our part of the digital world will make you laugh. Think and utterly change your life. Yeah, we think you can handle that. And now here's your host, a woman we love to watch strut in stilettos, Lady Angeline. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, subscribers. How's everybody doing this morning? Wonderful. <laughs> okay, that was a real good wonderful. <laughs> All right, um, we're going to talk about a topic close to everybody's heart during the holiday season. Guess what it is? <laughs> what is it? Regifting. <laughs> it's important. We got to have this conversation because um, I've been guilty of it, doing it bad. I've been guilty of doing it badly, uh -huh. and I have not been caught when I do it good, mm -hmm. when I do it correctly. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you a case of point where I got corrected. Um, <laughs> okay, I didn't know somebody regifted something to me that I was regifting. Oh. <laughs> okay, somebody gave me one Christmas. Um, no, they gave me. I think it was Thanksgiving or something, or Christmas or thing. I think it was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. You know how you go around and you go to people's houses and stuff and wish them Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. They gave me a box of chocolates. Now you know me. I'm the Whitler sampler type of chick. Mm -hmm. When you bring me chocolates, I want that big box and tell me what each one of them are. So I really wasn't feeling it. it was, I think it was Thanksgiving time. I really wasn't feeling it, so I didn't open it, right? Mm -hmm. And then it was Christmas time and your Aunt Sandy was visiting. Mm -hmm. And I gave her all kinds of stuff and I decided, oh, I'll just give these to her. Unbeknownst to me, that the chocolates were stale because the person we gifted it to me after they got them on Valentine's Day or something. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want them on Valentine's Day, so they kept them for the longest. And then they gave them a Thanksgiving time to me. And I gave it Christmas time to someone else. And it was just not good. Not a good look when your own sister calls you and says, oh, remember those chocolates you gave me? Well, they were bad. And I said, ooh, maybe the store got a bad batch. <laughs> and I couldn't hold my face when I said it. And she got a new, I know you regifted. That's when I learned you never regift any kind of food, candy, products, ever. <laughs> Ever. What about you? I, I've never. Have you got a regift, or have you ever tried to regift? I tried to regift, but for the most part, nobody's ever known that it was a regift. I, I never opened it. I just didn't want it, so I just gave it away. Okay. Well, you know that's the best way to do it. Regifting should be, I never opened it. You know, um, and or it's a, or it still has the tags on. I never wore it. Whatever it was. Um, I mean, but you do have to take all of the dis discriminating evidence, like they put your name on it, you got to take that off. Mm -hmm. If they did their wrap paper, at least wrap it yourself, you know. Those kind of things should be said about regifting. You can't wrap, you can't keep it in the same original wrapping. Mm -hmm. That's really like bad. Um, because what if they would have stuck something in with the gift? You'll never know. And then the person opens it up and it sees your name on the inside or a special card or something like that. So got to be careful with things of that sort. Um, and the reason why I bring up regifting is because this time of year, everybody's going to be going shopping. Mm -hmm. They're going to be going shopping and doing their thing, and they're going to run short because they forgot to think about so-and-so. So-and-so is on the Christmas list, too, and I forgot to get something, and they're going to go to their closets and try to think about what do I have in here to give so-and-so. It's going to happen. The regifting thing, it just gets thrust upon us at certain times. That's what I feel, Reese. I don't think anybody has the intention of regifting. You just get a little desperate. It, it's cold outside. Your money's running low. The credit card is shaky. And, and, and you get desperate. I gotta get something for so-and-so because you know what? Either somebody gave you a gift that you weren't expecting to get a gift from mm -hmm. or you forgot someone on the list or your own personal list. So everyone needs to be very diligent, I think, Risa, and make your list of your people. And they always say the best gift to give someone is a gift you would want yourself. Don't you think that's a, a true thing to say? It is true. Yeah. 
So, um, you've never been caught regifting. Have you opened a gift and you knew it was regifted? Yeah. And how did you feel about the person? You felt like they didn't care or you felt like, well, you know, I do need this. So that was good. It was a cool regift. It wasn't anything I needed, though. It was just like you could just tell that like they didn't want it. So it's like, oh, here. And I was just like, I didn't want it. So I regifted somebody else. I kept moving. Yeah. I think that happens a lot with the um, these little stores that sell like little tiny lotions or little tiny, you know, um, lip glosses and things like that. Like little like feminine stuff that's like little kitschy things. Um those are easy to re-gift. Sometimes it happens with perfumes and colognes for people. They're like, oh, they gave me this, but it's not really my scent. So you try to think of someone else you can give it to that might really like that. Um, but the really, I've never seen anybody re-gift anything electronic. They'll return something that's electronic rather than give it to somebody else. You know. But I think everybody should be a little more mindful about the re-gifting. If you have to re-gift, try to give it along with something that you've actually purchased. But if you but the times are tight though too, and if you gotta do what you gotta do, at least try to rewrap it in some way or another, right? Yep. Right. So um, it's a beautiful day today. We want everybody to go out there and enjoy the holiday shopping. And when you see Santa Claus and the Salvation Army people out there with their little pails asking for money, even if only you got a spare change in your pocket, please put something in, right, Risa? Right. Because that money is actually, they actually are giving back to our community. So, I know you think that's the fifth Santa Claus I passed. So, <laughs> always keep some change on you this time of year, you know. And just keep it in your in your pocket or keep it in your little um, uh, outside um, pocket of your purse. So, it's easy, easily accessible. And give back a little bit, you know, while you're doing your shopping thing. And watch out for pickpocketers. Yeah, watch out because they out in the season like plentiful. They out there in droves and uh, be very mindful of who's around you and the crowd you're in and people bumping you, okay? Yep. All right, you guys have a great day. We're at our destination now. It was an honor and blessing to uh, share the commute with all of you. Keep warm and season's greetings. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening to AMB Talk Radio with Lady Angeline. If you like what you just heard, pass along our web address, ambishop.com, to the people you actually like. Be sure to check out our website for previous podcasts. This has been an AMB production.